Ogata. It's wonderful to be here and thank you for the opportunity to share with you um, what our company is all about, a homegrown internet service provider in Papua New Guinea. But before we continue on, before I tell you a little bit more of what we're doing on the ground and working together with the rural community with our uh, services, I'd like to share with you a little story. Let me take you back and tell you a little story about a little girl growing up in a village in Papua New Guinea with no access to internet, with no proper education in the village, with no proper teachers to teach what the world is all about. Health services were terrible at the time, no access to that. We looked for water, clean water. She looked for clean water and terrible sanitation. And at that time, with those challenges, that little girl, success to her, was a job, to have a job in the office. Despite those challenges, with no progress for opportunities that she will be able to help herself to get the job, she continued her school in the village from grade one to six. From then, continued on to high school, which is from grade seven to 10, and still in the local villages with all those challenges. No opportunity for progress. Still, that little girl pursued her dreams to find a job in an office. After completing grade 10, she was a dropout, considered as a failure with millions of other children in Papua New Guinea, with no opportunities. One day, that little girl didn't stop pursuing her dreams, pushing the boundaries, going out there in the city looking for a job. At that time, an institution provided an opportunity for her. At that time, the institution was taking in grade 10 and grade 12 school leavers to achieve their dreams, to become degree holders. That girl managed to secure a spot in that institution continued her certificate program with that institution. And fortunate enough, earned a job with that institution. At the time when she was growing up in the village, the success was having a job. She finally earned that, you know, working in that office. Through that institution, found a scholarship, a dropout, earned a certificate, had a pathway to earn her degree in Southern Cross University in Australia in Coffs Harbour. That girl didn't forget the people that have really helped her in her journey. Came back to that institution, worked for that institution in the education space for the last 20 years. Worked herself up to be a director in that organization, which was Institute of Business Studies at the time. So from a village to a job, jumped on the plane to Australia, culture shock, Still a big gap. That little girl didn't abandon the village. She continues to go back to the village to find solution to impact lives of children that are left behind. And that little girl right in front of you is right standing here, presenting to you what Amstrad is all about. Left the job and now running her own business, which is Amstrad Holdings Limited. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the harsh realities of growing up in the rural areas. They were great presentation. I loved it. I learned a lot. But half the population in the rural communities don't have access to all these little things here. We're talking about giving access to the rural communities, but what actually are we doing on the ground? And that is where MSHRET became an internet service provider to actually go back to the community because I belong to a community. I wanna go back to the village to make sure that one of those girls just like me or one of those boys or children in the village to have access to all these things that we are talking about. On the, on the PowerPoint here, you can really see what we are going through. We're talking about that, but we must talk about solution as well. We must collaborate to work together to make sure that we provide solution in that. So there's millions and millions of people in the rural communities have no access to 
this sort of things. We talk about digital platforms. Many of the um, people in the village don't have access to banks. Many of those people in the village don't have access to internet. Now we have come up with a prototype and that solution and our mission, you know, I have, I have, a, I have footprints in PNG but probably in the next 10 years time you will see that we will be connecting the dots in PNG and, and the vision is bigger because we have community at heart. We, every time we do business, we wanna go back to the rural communities because that's where I grew up. That's where the struggles were. And we don't, you know, for me, I don't take uh, granted for anything that I want. I wanna learn as much as I can and go back to the community where I belong. So our mission is to connect the dots and provide solution for all. And which is our long-term plan is to reach out to, reach out to our people at home and create platforms to access to engage, connect and collaborate. And one of the things that we have, through, uh, have done through our technology was, we did a prototype in the village and we, we created an M-Street wireless you know, solution. And it's been running for almost one year and we're observing and we gave this business to a community, a, a leader in a village, actually he was, he's paralyzed. And we have created an employment for him and using this prototype, doing point to point, him selling his, selling our technology, making money for himself. Uh, lying down on his bed and his wife is really helping him to do all the runarounds to earn that money and to also you know, sustain the family as well. So that's a prototype we've been testing and it's been working for a year and we're slowly rolling it out to you know, many other places where there is power. So I think in all the rural villages we know that there's no power. So our solution is that we're looking at solar sh solutions through our technology. But one of the challenges that I face, as well as that as a startup, we have so much challenges. We're talking about SME and, and what we're going to do to enable them or what platforms are we gonna to create to actually give access to you know, information and things that they can be able to use and leverage on and help themselves grow as well at the same time. So one of the things that we have done recently, we have launched uh, I think one of the exciting things, and I love this, we actually opened a co-working space in Port Moresby running for five months, and it's called Amstrad Space. Amstrad, uh, and we provide these office facilities, and of course we all know what a co-working space is. We're all entrepreneurs, we're all SMEs, and we're all startups that come together, collaborate, and create that business buzz for themselves. So you can see this is what we have opened so far. So our aim is to actually create a fun, collaborative co-working space to bring all the local entrepreneurs in Papua New Guinea together and share our ideas, collaborate, so that we can be able to provide solutions to our people and be able to work together with our government so that we can reach out to many of our people out there. And I guess what we believe in, like I said, is creating an inclusive ecosystem for all entrepreneurs. And in order to do that, you know, we've, we've provided the avenue and our mission is to, you know, make sure that we provide business support for SMEs. As a startup, when I started, I had so much problems. And that's the whole reason why that, that drove me to open this co-working space so that we can be able to help other SMEs who have gone through the same challenge as me so together we can make the difference. And we are happy to, you know, work together with our statutory bodies like IPA, IRC and Treasury to see how we can influence policy to make those policy access and perhaps provide an equal playing field for all SMEs as well. So that's basically our um, objective, as objective while doing this co-working space and at the same time, you know, providing a co -work, three types of you know, co-working space for SMEs or anybody that wants to rent a space. And because we provide these hot desk, dedicated desk and flexi desk, to, to actually sustain the operations because we don't get any funding from anybody. We do it because we're an entrepreneur, we want the sustainability of the pro pro program, so we actually work around our business areas to generate funding so that it continues because we really believe in this concept. And many of um, our SMEs that come and join the membership actually are giving great stories to us saying that since they've joined the membership, their business is buzzing and which is a satisfaction to me because when I hear success, I'm satisfied because I'm helping somebody else grow as well. So being part of the community space and membership, these are all the benefits that we provide to them so that they help themselves grow. 
they help, them, help themselves develop, they connect, they collaborate, and engage themselves so that they can be able to open up their minds and look at their business differently and engage with mentors, engage with coaches so that you know, a third party looking into your business is also very important and that's what I really you know, um, look into as well. So when they become part of the community space, these are all the things that we provide. And of course, we've been growing for the last five years and this is the team and what we have achieved so far. You know, I've been an entrepreneur for, f um, yeah, for five years now and within five years opened up um, for business, and that is, you know, running very successfully, and of course, you know, developed um, a strategic plan for the business, and I sit on board member of, you know, POM CCI, PNGID, and I've been a community advocate all my life, and through all those things, you know, we won award within the five years, and and it's a great, you know, um, satisfaction that people are recognizing the work that you are doing for the community, not only for yourself, but for everybody else to leverage on and help themselves grow as well. And I have my, you know, um, CTO as well, who is our technical officer that oversees all our technical aspects of everything else. And from one person, we have built our team to 10. So you can imagine the, the challenges and, you know, up and down that we have, you know, gone through to build our organization. And I'm very lucky to have all these board of directors or governance or advisors because I can tap into them anytime for their wisdom and sometimes when I'm caught into something, they are there to help me out at their voluntary time. So, you know, I don't pay them. They are very busy people, but, you know, it's nice to have them give their time to, you know, help me out as well in my business. So those are some of our achievements within the five years. These are some of the recognitions that we have got uh, during those five years. So just to share with you, you know, the success of, you know, m as well on the things that we have done. So. It's all listed over there, I don't have to spell it out, but we can talk more if you want to. And where do we want to go from here? From zero. We worked all the way up to, and now we're progressing. Now our aim is to you know, grow and scale. And we have done that with our means, with our little means and the money that we make, we pump it back into the business to you know, run it and continue the operations as well. So, that's all about Amstrad, and thank you very much.